Hi. Let us understand what is order by, group by, and having clauses. So when you talk about the order by clause, is used to sort the result. Order by. Remember that order by is used to sort the result based on one or more columns, right? Allowing you to arrange in ascending or descending order, order by. Sorting, that is sorting of the rows by means of ascending or descending order. Group by clause, when you say group by clause, is used to group the rows, group rows based on one or more column and often used with the aggregate functions. Having clause, just a minute, let me underline this. Having clause here, used in conjunction with the group by, used in conjunction with the group by and filters, remember that, filters the grouped rows based on a condition, based on a condition, allowing you to apply the aggregate functions as well. Order by, arranging by means of ascending and descending order, you can use on the multiple columns. Group by, group by clauses used to group the rows based on one or more columns and often used with the aggregate functions. Right? Having clause is used in conjunction with the group by, filters the grouped rows based on a condition. Filters the grouped rows based on a condition, allowing you to apply, allowing you to apply the conditions to the results of the aggregate function. Let us see what they are saying over here. Let us try to work with the order by first. For that, let's go here new sql and here we can say order group having dot sql okay we'll create this sql and open this open with sql notebook and here let's drop the database drop table customers drop table customers and let's try to create the table will i have asked chat gpt to create one for me we just get this this is our normal table remember that that we already have used for other things and i have asked chat gpt to give me data i have asked chat gpt to give me data just for the explanation purpose of the group by and having things. Okay, inserted, 30 rows have been inserted. So this data has been created in such a way that we can understand group by having and other things. Okay, so let's try to have the order by. First, without ordering, just select it, select star from customers select star from customers can you see without ordering and anything you will get the data in the way you have inserted it in the form you have inserted it now now order by order by single column single column select star from customers select star from customers order by order by name asc ascending order run it can you see all starts from the a and it will reach to m well there are other records are available there as well but it is sorted by means of the 
ascending order can you see a to z ascending order means what select customers order by name name ascending order a to z right a there is b c d e no f g h i z k there is no k l m ordering well you can have it by descending order also so i will show you descending order on the edge descending order on the edge by edge descending can you see 35 34 33 33 32 like that 30 30 30 29 29 like this 28 27 can you see that which is actually descending by means of age now you'll ask me a question that is okay ascending descending working but what if i need to add what if i need to do by means of two columns let's try it <coughs> select star from customers now see descend customers order by order by age descending comma name ascending default is ascending okay now how this is happening see 35 34 33 so here you will get to know if two rows are having same age there is th for the 35 only one row 34 only one row but 33 there are two rows now these two rows would be first first order by the age and inside this it is again order by the name ascending order e and z if you can see over here the customers who are having the same age so first all the rows would be order by descending age order by descending age 34 35 33 if there are the two rows which are having common which are having same age then inside that it would be inside that it would be sorted ascending by name if age is same inside this it would be sorted ascending by name see here 32 there are no same only one record for the 32 for the 31 can you see there are two records a and s first a then s 31 first a then s also for the 30 if you can see right a to z a to z it has been sorted first by age descending order everything and if two records is having same age multiple records is having same age inside that it would be inside that it would be sorted in a ascending or descending manner whatever you have given over here i hope you got this how exactly order by on the multiple columns would be there right now group by now what group by so what i want want to do i hope you have understood the order by right you may try other things as well but this is the fundamental idea of the order by i'm moving ahead with this group by group by now see here now see city wise grouping we have made in the atlanta one boston two chicago three how many customers are there in one city how many customers are there in one city how many customers are there in one city can you find can you see this in the atlanta one customer is there in the boston two customers are there chicago three customers are there getting my point now if you can i will just copy this query i will just copy this query and here we can say group by city 
ऑर्डर बाय सिटी डिसेंडिंग ओके ऑर्डर बाय सिटी सो इफ यू सी हियर वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू डू वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू डू इफ यू ट्राई टू राइट ऑर्डर बाय इन द बिगिनिंग आई विल कीप दिस एज इट इज आई विल कीप दिस एज इट इज एंड देन हियर फर्स्ट राइट ग्रुप बाय सिटी एंड देन ऑर्डर बाय रिमेंबर दैट सिटी descending can you see that z to a z to a right group by order by you can write something like this now we also have seen group by generally comes with group by generally comes with the aggregate functions why in the seattle in the seattle how many customers are there in the san francisco how many customers are there in the san diego how many customers are there Phoenix, how many customers are there? So this count is coming from this count aggregate function. So we have used group by and order by together, right? Now this result also can be filtered by means of the having clause, right? That's why having comes into the picture. So we can have over here. and here we can say having clause having so this is the whole and sole result but what i need to do having having see now structure of the having clause having count of star is greater than 2 having count of star is greater than or equal to 3 just a minute this gives error error is coming again because of the structuring now this gives error because your formatting is wrong if you can see city first group by having and then order by remember that first group by then having and then order by i will keep this query as it is just to show you you cannot write anything as you want group by then having group by then having and at the last there is a order by now run it can you see having greater than or equal to yeah san francisco new york los angeles and chicago now this query is little bit bigger so you can format it like this group by having order by right so generally queries need to be written in this form either everything is in the caps or everything is in the small right now what you have done over here what you have done over here you just have checked if you can see whole and sole result you will find over here but out of this i want to filter only only those those cities who is having customer count greater than 3 i want to find out only those cities who are having customer count greater than or equal to 3 so in the san francisco customer count is 3 new york los angeles and chicago but here there is no conditioning that's what the having clause says if you see what we have seen about the having clause the having clause used in the conjunction with the group by filters the grouped rows based on a condition allowing you to apply the conditions to the results of the aggregate functions can you see here 
aggregate function. So this count is given to you by aggregate functions. Now I want to apply a condition on that. That is by means of having. And that's why, that, that's why group by having and order by. This sequence you need to remember. You can use independently also. We have seen that part as well. How do you work with independently? And how do you work in combination with all? Right? Group by having order by. All three things are in front of you. So, whenever you need to do some analysis, whenever you need to send, whenever you need to retrieve the data, which does some calculations and analysis, group by having order by are really helpful to you. Right? So, if you want to show the pie chart, if you want to show the pie chart, in which city, how much percentage of the customers are there, you need to have, you need to use a group by having an order by clause. I hope you have understood this thing. If you have any queries, write it in the comment box. If you have any, or if you have understood, also write it in the comment box. I hope this is pretty clear to you, right? Just check the notebook, this notebook also, our classroom notebook also, and check the Git repository also, which will help you in understanding the things. It is not that difficult. I have kept the errors also in front of you. So if you get the error, you may resolve it on your own, right? Thank you. See you in the next video.